Hi, welcome to the Content is Serving Studio. In today's video, I'll be discussing about a template that can be used for your quantity takeoffs. Basically, this template is made for MEP works, but the same can be used for the civil quantity takeoffs also. The explanation will be mainly given using MEP related items. So this is that template that can be used for quantity takeoffs. This can be used mainly for the pre-contract works that is during the tendering stage. The consultant side QS can use this sheet for preparing the BOQs or the contractor side QS can make this template for the tendering purpose to validate the quantities that has been provided to them for tendering purpose. So I'll be explaining you the different columns here in this template. The first one is the drawing reference that is from which drawing the particular item has been measured. So that is mentioned in this column. Then you have the floor or the levels like if it is a ground floor or the first floor or second floor that can be mentioned in this column. Then the description of the item. So if you see I have mentioned some MEP items and the unit of measurement is different here. So here you can see the unit of measurement. So basically I have used the different items based on the unit of measurement to make you understand it more effectively. Now you can see some columns which have marked as yellow. These are depending on the type of software that is being used or whether your duct measurement is being done in square meters or kgs. Based on that only these columns needs to be added. So, so if you see in this column it is markup reference. So this is basically the ID or the code that differentiates the different measurements. So if you're using AutoCAD as your measurement software, there might be handle keys for your different measurements. So you will be adding some P lines for your measurements and this P lines will be converted into handle keys. For that you need to have some M list which needs to be uploaded into the AutoCAD software. Only then you will get the handle key. And if you are using other softwares like PlanSift or Bluebeam, depending on the shape or the color that is used for the different measurement, that you can just take a snapshot and put it here. So this is again not a mandatory one, but it will be helpful if you are including this column because later on you can easily check and validate if the quantity has been taken correctly. And even when you send it to someone, they can also easily audit it using this references. Then you have the next column called times. So times is just giving you the number of times the particular item needs to be calculated. So sometimes if you see here this pipe I have mentioned as four. So sometimes there might be some drops which will not be shown in the plan. So imagine there are some toilets in ground floor in this drawing. There are some four number of toilets and the length of that this drop is 3.2 meters. So instead of just measuring each separately, we can just mention four and just multiply that length and you can get the total length here. So this column is the product of this times and the quantity. So quantities, this column gives you mainly either the number or the length. So mostly your MEP related measurements will be uh, either in the numbers or in length. So only when your quantities needs to be calculated in square meters or if it is in kgs these columns comes up so if you see here duct here i have shown the duct measurement in different ways that is if it is in meters if it is in square meters and if it is in kgs so a detailed video about this all these three types i have already uploaded in this channel so i'll just put the link to that videos in the description so you can just learn how you can calculate duct in different ways. So if you see here, this part is just in meters. Here you have included the width and height of the ducts and then the area is calculated using this formula 2 into width plus height into length and then it is multiplied with the times also here if you see. So again as I have already mentioned if in plan it is not shown or if you are assuming a few things that you can mention in the time under the times column. Then here, depending on the gauge types, you can calculate the kilograms, the unit weight measurement has been mentioned. So now you have a column called unit. This is basically you are inputting your unit of measurements. Then there is a remarks column wherein you can mention anything that you would require the client or yourself or someone who is auditing to know 
regarding drops or shaft or if you are assuming some measurements or if it is a supply air duct if it is duct measurements if it is a supply return or fresh air duct or exhaust air duct then if you are measuring the equipments you can measure the tag numbers of the equipments here now next column is the boq description that these three columns are coming from the main boq so you will have a boq description this can be the same as this description or depending upon the type of standard method of measurement being used it will change and the boq quantity will be just the summary of these measurements so all the volume control dampers you can encode here depending on the number of floors and then you can do a summation of the total quantities and this quantity will be linked to your main boq and again the unit of measurement is similar to the same column mainly what you can do is so if you have the boq with you and you need to validate or audit the quantity and do a measurement then you can first prepare these columns and then start taking off your measurements but it, if it is the other way around if you're a consultant and you are required to prepare the boq from the scratch then depending on the standard of measurement you can start with you'll have an idea of how the order of the different items of the different services are and depending on that you can start with the maybe if it is a plumbing works you can start with the pipe works then you can go into the valves the different countable items the as ancillaries according to that you can start preparing your breakups and then you can link it towards your boq description and boq quantity and then this will be encoded into your main boq so i hope this small video is informative if you need this template you can just mention your email id in the comment section i can provide you with this template and the same template can be used for civil works also i have not included any civil items but again civil items are also there are countable items there are measurable length measurements there are square meter measurements there are cubic meter measurements here i have also included one cubic meter measurement see if you see excavation it is a civil work but then sometimes under external works it comes for the piping or the cable you will need to do the quantification of the excavation backfilling works so for that see if you see here the length width and height has been included and be the product of these gives you the cubic meter so that total comes here so with this sheet it will be very very easy to understand how your boq has been measured how each item has been measured you can also include the assumptions if you feel that some items are not included in the plan but you feel that these needs to be included that you can mention here and then give it as an assumption in under the remarks section again if you see here ground floor piping works there are three rows so these three rows are mainly because this measurement is if it, this measurement is being done using autocad you need to do or you need to put different p lines for these three different pipes which will be in different locations if you are using softwares like blue beam or plan swift in just one drawing under one line item itself all your upvc 100 mm pipes will come there need not be these three rows just in under one row itself you can complete your measurements for each floor and the markup can be the color being used for that particular size of pipe so different colors will be used for different size of pipes and again a legend can be created in those software so it will be easily auditable using the mark drawings and using this sheet anyone can easily check if the measurements has been done correctly or not so thanks a lot for watching this video hope this video was informative this template was informative and useful please to like if you have found it to be useful and don't forget to subscribe to quantity serving studio for more such videos take care thanks for watching bye